Greetings, observers, and welcome to Alien to Ghost Live from the beautiful space coast of Florida. I'm Mike F. We're going to review the Collector UFO event, aka the hidden gem here. We found some new details that's just going to add to the mystery of this. This what an event this was in 2012. We're going to do it basically that it. It didn't only last an hour or two hours. This craft was there from the 6th of March and didn't leave till approximately the 12th. So here's, check out the times, the days. It's rolling through the days here. Look at the flares coming off that. Jeez, man, that sun looks like a campfire in 2012. But check out the way the flares look, you know. Man, that sun is just something else. You'll see some glitches in here. I'm sure you guys caught those. There's some other very weird phenomenons leading up to this here. There was a big one. We had a couple major players on the 7th and the 9th on this clip. But notice most of the players are on the northern, what we would view as northern on this, on the top. We don't see any events on the south side of the sun here at all. That was incredible. There's another player. See, but when the craft actually leaves on the 12th, we'll see it. You'll see it. You'll know. It's a totally different looking player. And the imagery is going to be just mind blowing. There's some more players. That's, that's what we want to do here at Aliens and Ghosts. We want to look at the whole event. We just don't want one picture or a 10 second clip of it fast forward. This craft, potentially unidentified object, was on the sun for six days. That's that's pretty incredible. There it goes, you see it on the C2, the last go to image. <clears throat> Remember that is a 5.25 million mile view on the red there. Lasco 3 is a 30 million. Look at them flares. Take a second real quick to thank you, the observers, for everybody with, for the views of Aliens and Ghosts vid live videos. For subscribing. There was another. Did you guys catch that? We're looking into that too. That was a really peculiar looking phenomenon there. But here's normal flares still. No solar flares out of the south. Make sure to subscribe and like the videos. That's what helps Aliens and Ghosts Live grow. And we appreciate that. Here we go. We're going to shorten this timeline up here. It's just incredible when we look at the, the shape that comes off on the Lasco 2. You can see it really good. Lasco 3, you got to remember the shield that covers the sun is almost as large as the whole image on the last go to it's it's large so you see slightly different things but once we line it up we'll see it it makes you wonder what this ship's doing though you know just like I said in the video is it actually six seven days of sitting there how much mass and fuel and I mean you know could it suck off of the Sun and what are they doing with it that's what it looks like even if you look at just a short clip but we're going to take a different look. We're going to take a we're a real deep look into this. We're going to show you guys some imagery and stills. That's there it is. Look at there out of the Lasco two. What was that? And here it is out of the Lasco three. Notice there's no wild particles like happened in some of the larger solar flares there earlier in this timeline, where it looks like the whole screen is covered. And this is coming out of the, what we view as the southern. And you just don't see that. Incredible. Here it is, a closer look. See? Here it comes. Wow! Jeez. Yeah, that's totally natural. That is totally natural, ain't it, guys? You know, here we can't tell if the ship went more away from the camera, so it's hiding in space. You can't really see it or what exactly happened, but 
To me, it looks like a reflection right off of the craft. That's exactly what it looks like. The energy of the sun just... Think about the energy of the sun, too. Whew. That thing is something else. It's 92.75 million miles from Earth. And it could still, with a single player, disrupt everything. Here's a close-up on Alaska. Look at that definition of that flare. I don't know. Looks unidentified to me. It looks like a looks like a reflection off the, the actual craft itself as it's lin as it was leaving. Don't forget, this was the precise time that the craft did leave. And another thing on top of it, it wasn't the only craft, because on the other video we see there's one at the seven o'clock position, the five and the seven and a half, eight. Here we go with the two other M EIT-171, that's your blue image, and the EIT-195. With the same dates laid out, and you can see it. You can totally see it, still there. And, oh, got missing data on the day that it left. On the old EIT-195, it just disappeared, gone. But you see it, it's there at the seven o'clock position. And here it is closer up too. And what you gotta realize too is that look at the sun, it's spinning and everything, it's doing its thing, it's turning, but this craft is staying basically positioned in its place in space and time. And make sure to check out the time codes too, guys, because this is laid out. So you can see it, all, all four images line up perfectly. Left the sun on March 12th, 2012, approximately at 100 hours. It basically arrived in the vicinity of March 6th, 2012. God, these images are just, <clears throat> they're, they're amazing because they hook it all together. They show you the whole thing, the whole event through all the days. It wasn't a half hour, guys. This was six days. Six days of these mysterious, unidentified flying objects around our sun. It's incredible. Remember, it takes eight minutes and 20 seconds for the light from the sun to reach the Earth, and it takes five hours for the same beam of light to reach Pluto. Incredible. Does this just solidify that the collector UFO was more than just a small event we've got the full story of how it is just six days of this phenomenon this anomaly and we're going to take a close look at this i just want you guys to think about this and you tell me this is natural just tell me this is natural because i here at aliens ghost live we don't believe it is but i'd like to thank you the observers make sure to subscribe and like hope everybody's doing well i'm mike s I'm out.